right, hello and welcome to RTN. My name is Matt Delavecchia, live from South Jersey at Hollywood Ice Arena in Sewell. Um, bringing you some Friday night hockey as our Rowan props will take on the Penn State Nittany Lions um, in what should be what is really a very telling challenge right now. Um, I think that, um, excuse me, the weighted roster of Penn State, they've played significantly less games. Um, they're coming in at 6-1, so they've played 7 total, whereas Rowan's played 16. They're sitting at 10-5-1 and one in the division, excuse me, in their record. And uh, so, I mean, that means... Quite frankly, Penn State plays better teams and does better against them. However, I think it's a new season for Rowan. They've come out uh, and stronger than they anticipated, even though they had to jumble up a bunch of lines. Excuse me for some technical, technical difficulties here, but they had to jumble up some lines. They have a lot of personnel problems as far as who's in and who's out. But they still managed to stay tight against good teams. They, they had great game versus Liberty University, which is number two in the division, um, only behind North Carolina State University. And Liberty goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with them every year. Rowan only lost them by one goal, and I cannot remember at the moment, but I believe it was even in overtime. So again, they've, they've stepped up the challenges bigger than this before, um, but this is a, a perfect matchup right now because you're playing a tougher team in the division who's one above you. If you beat them, it, it does significantly well for your rankings. And uh, it, I'm hoping that they step up and we see some great hockey from Rowan tonight. Um, and again, um, we're here at Holly Doll Ice Arena down in Sewell, New Jersey. Uh, uh, Bunlop, Dunlop's Bar and Grill just to my right um, ha as their glass that they're sitting at hangs right over the rink. So it's a cool place to sit and watch hockey. A great hockey memorabilia there, great food, great, great drinks. And you get to see some live local college hockey. So pucks have just been called in. We're going to get uh, going with the starting lineups. I don't know if we're doing the national anthem or not. Um, I'm assuming the bubble line is going to start. Uh, Ricci, uh, excuse me, Rucci, Ramos, and Penrod line for, for Rowan. And then uh, we have to see who comes out for Penn State. Looks like we're going to get right to it here. Penn State starting lineup has been uh, Joe De Laurentiis, Ryan Long, and Henry Salo, number 91, 11, and 29 in that order. So like I said, Penn State's coming in here at 6-1. and one. Um, Looks like most recently they beat Marist and Bentley back-to-back. -back. Marist was a, a shellacking at 15-0, it looks like. Versus Bentley, they scored five goals to Bentley's two. So a really high-scoring couple of games. Um, one particularly high-scoring, which makes you question. But either way, they, they're coming off of one, two, three, four, five straight wins. The only loss was coming to NC State, the number one ranked team in the division. Whereas Rowan's 10-5-1. I know recently they had a loss to Ryder, 5-4, and also a 3-1 win versus the Delaware Blue Hens. I know they played Maryland in between. I, I don't know if the ACHA ha has the results of that yet. I didn't see any, um, any results of that yet. But uh, So number five versus number six in the division today. And again, a challenge that Rowan needs to step up to. So we're uh, announcing starting lineups here. It looks like uh, number 36, AJ Colella, is going to get the start between the pipes. Um, Paul Keyes on defense. And it looks like you do have the Rucci, Ramos, and Penrod, Penrod line starting. And uh, they've been the anchor here. They are the graduate students who stayed. And they kept that line together.
right. So we're get completed both national anthems. And like I said, the bubble line's out there, Ruchi, Ramos, and Penrod. Um, and uh, Bobby Penrod updated uh, most goals on the team with nine. He's also a number two in the points leaders, it looks like. Uh, 16 points, Trevor Rucci's 23. Trevor Rucci, the captain of the team, number 13, is behind most every play around the net when he's on the ice. I mean, it's just flat out. The last few games, there's been uh, at least six goals where he's been the manipulator of the, of the, of the whole play. Um, he dishes it well. He's in along the boards. He's not a big guy. He fights for every puck along the boards, even if he's outnumbered. Um, and there's a reason why that C's on his shoulder. And, uh, and like I said, number 91 for, for Penn State, uh, Joe DeLaurentis, he starts at left wing. Number 11, Ryan Long, he starts at center. And starting at right wing is number 29, Henry Salo. Looks like back in net is number 39, Richie Carpondi. Carapondi, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So here we are getting set up for puck drop. Um, Holiday Ice Arena for some Friday Night Hockey. So Ruchi going to take the face off. He wins it back. Paul Keyes collects. He goes over to Will Garrison. He backhands it up to the boards there. And they fight to get it out and finally bank it past. Penn State turns, whips a puck into the neutral zone, and they come flying through. Here's three not Lions who get to the top of the circle. 29 collects it. He fires a shot. Good block by Ruchi. He went down on the knee there. Penrod knocks it around a guy and then flutters it out. It could not clear that blue line. They send it in deep. And Paul Keyes now has to try and get around two men. He gets it back to their point. Penn State rips a, a, a wrist shot. It bounces off of Colella. And Bobby Penrod will bank it around for Paul Keyes. Paul Keyes streams up the boards along with it. He gets smushed, and the puck gets turned over to Penn State. And Roan gets a line change. Oh, a crisp pass gets tipped up into the net here. And we'll get our first stoppage of the game. Now you got Jimmy Pollock out there with JT Zangara and Nick Thomas. You got Jacob Holland and Jared Cohen back on defense there. Jared Cohen is also in the top of the points leaders, um, as well as goals as a defenseman. He's got a wicked slap shot. He sits back at the point. And uh, after the defense sees the first shot, they're never in the way of the second or the third. So we got uh, heads up Jimmy Pollock here. He's going to take the face off. So this is a, the same line two weeks in a row here, this Pollock Zangara line here with Nick Thomas. So it means they play well. The coaches saw something. Another puck gets flooded up into the net and we'll get a stoppage. Um, so Bennett and Damani, Coach Bennett and Damani must have saw something last week that let, let the, in their minds, let's keep these guys together. JT Zangara is a young player. He's a, he came together as a pair with a, a, another teammate of his. And since then, he went from being a third line guy who's new to the team to all of a sudden, he's playing on the second line with Jimmy Pollock, who's uh, a transfer student and uh, an older hockey player, so he's more wise with the puck. Um, so whoever he plays with has to be able to stick with him and stay in the play and play crisp hockey. And JT Zangara has been able to do that. So right now, the puck's been getting batted around the neutral zone and finally back in to, behind to the right of Colella and up the boards along the bench for Rowan. Penn State's getting a little bit frustrated and starting pushing guys. A puck is the center right to Nick Thomas. He crosses the blue line, takes a shot, and gets gloved by Carapondi, and we will get both line changes. Some early on uh, chippiness. I, I, chippiness might be a strong word, but there's a lot of push and shoving in the corner there. Penn State did not like it at all. 18 minutes, 27 seconds left in the first period. So now you got Tanner Schroeder out there. Uh, looks like Chris Conlon to his right, Cam Chandler behind him. Number 27, Dave Cutler back here on defense along with uh, Anthony Roca, and they will send one in to Colella. He'll bat it away. Thomas tries to, oh no, excuse me, Sanders Schroeder tries to knock it up. It gets hit back, and Conlon collects it in front of his bench and will send it to center ice. Penn State right back in on Colella, who puts it in his glove and leaves it for Cutler. Cutler wings it around the boards, up to Conlon. Conlon tips it out over past the blue line. Oh, into the center is Camp Chandler, but it bounced off the stick back to Penn State. Penn State turns a corner. Oh, and then they take a nice hit along the boards here. Rowan looking to place, oh, and nice, Pass gets blocked away by Rowan. Defense, another shot goes high and wide over Colella. And the puck will wing all the way out. Finally, oh, and here we got Tanner Schroeder all by himself to the left side on top of the circle. He takes a shot, gets blocked away. Good angle by the goalie there. Schroeder has to get the puck. He sends it behind the net, gets back to Paul Keyes. He sends a wrist shot in, gets kicked away by Carapondi. Puck goes in behind. 
Ramos is in there fighting for it. And Penn State manages to kick it out. Maybe not before Paul Kiesman keeps it in. And Carter Jones in the play. There's Bobby Penrod who knocks one up high and couldn't glove it down. It finally lands on the ice and they battle along the boards. Get some puck is getting wet oh, in front of the net there, but Penn State manages to collect it and go behind the net. Oh, and a good finish hit there by looks like Paul Keyes. Penrod will go point to point with it to Garrison. Garrison sends it in. I don't know who he expected to get that, but neither one of them did. And now Paul Keyes will have to flutter it in deep. All right, so some good battling down in the offensive zone. Good pressure by Rowan right now. Um, they do turn it over a couple times, but every time it seems to come back in. And just as I say, that Penn State whacks it in behind Colella. Paul Keyes backs in. He gets pushed around behind the net here. Oh, there's two props. Trevor Rucci squishing a guy into the corner there. The puck gets sent around the boards. Finally chipped out by Vance Moran just past the blue line. Penn State will collect it, turn around, and wing it right back in. It's knocked down by Rucci. Rucci turns up ice now looking for an out. He backhands it over here to Will Garrison. Will Garrison will send it. Oh, and a beautiful pass through two Lions there. Vance could not quite get to it, but he finally gets it. Possession, oh, a quick shot short side. Gets blocked away by Carapondi, and another rebound again gets whacked out by Penn State defense. Now they charge through neutral zone. A hard slap shot on Colella. He'll collect it and put it under his glove for a whistle. A little bit of back and forth there. I feel like it's very choppy. Puck's getting whacked out a lot. We had some good pressure from Rowan down in, there in, in the Penn State zone. Um, not a whole lot of stoppages. So it was just about three minutes of clean time there. So now I got this uh, Jimmy Pollock line again. And Jacob Holland will wing it around the boards. And back to Penn State defense. They can't trap it down. And now we got a two on one streaming in. Make a, oh, and it, it gets shot on the goal. Carapana kicks it away. Thought he was going to go for a pass there. We had a three on one, four, a two on one forming before Penn State defense got back. And now they charge into the zone to the right of the circles. Jacob Holland with a stick on a man. A short side pass goes wide. And now Nick Thomas turns around. A nice floater could not land to JT, JT Zangara. So Penn State will have to look for another out now. They flick it behind their own net. Hits his own player, look like in the glove, and they backhand it out to center ice. Oh, kept in, nice. Oh, they called offsides on that. Looked like, uh, it looked to me like Jared Cohn got that before the blue line, but the refs call offsides, and we'll get a face off just out front of the Penn State bench here. All right, so you got Tanner Schroeder taking the face off, Cam Chandler to his right, excuse me, to his left, and, and Connor, I'm sorry, Chris Conlon to his right, Cam Chandler to his left. Dave Cutler swings it up to Cam Chandler, he tips it in, and now Tanner Schroeder chases Penn State behind the net, they wing it back, same side. Puck goes up to the point, and uh, Cutler has to bring it out to center ice. Finally back in, Schroeder trying to tip one over, Penn State defense, Cutler steps in, he manages to knock a man off the puck. They keep it in the zone. Oh, they could not get to the slot. And here's Penn State rolls into the center ice. Puck is getting bounced around a lot, back and forth. Oh, man, that was Tanner Schroeder looking for a big hit. Penn State sidestepped, but kept possession of it. Now they dump it in. Here's Anthony Roca into the corner. He gets bodied off a puck. And then right around Schroeder. Schroeder ends up with the puck. He bounces off the glass, gets it off the Penn State defense, gloves it down to his stick, sends it in, and now they're looking for a slot pass. High goes to the point, top of the circles, wrist shot, right into the bread basket of Colella, and we'll get another stoppage. So there's some, there's some little things going on here that may not be e immediately visible, but a lot of hacking at each other, sticks in the air, um, a solid push from behind in the corner, far corner on Penn State. Nothing crazy yet, but... Penn State's getting a little bit aggravated, and you got to think that Rowan should be purposefully doing that because they're at home. Let's get in their heads a little bit. Don't get any penalty. Oh, and a good slot pass ends up banking off a skate from Penn State. And now they look for it again, go short side. They come around with it, go all the way back to the point, point to point. A wrist shot taken in, goes totally wide. Paul Key's man, man up in front of the net there, and luckily didn't get a stick on it. Flutters to the top of the circles, bounce around, bounce around. Here's Nick Ramos will step into center ice. He'll try to send it in. Penn State whacks it back. Paul Keyes gets it in front of his bench, and he takes a big hit. Hands up high, if you ask me, right in front of the announcer's box, and the puck comes loose to Penn State. Penn State will cross the blue line here into the zone, send it in on Colella. Colella will collect for another stoppage. Uh, if you ask me, the hands are high. 
to the face mask of Paul Keyes, but no call. And now you get Jacob Holland back on defense. Rucci to take the face off here with Connor Callahan to his right and Vance Moran as well. And we'll get another stoppage. Feels like a very even keel game right now. Like I said, there's only little things happening as far as energy wise and, and chipping at each other, but hasn't been a whole lot of pop as far as getting the puck moving, setting plays up. It's been very back and forth, very choppy. Rucci wins a face off to Holland. Holland flutters it all the way out to center rice, and Penn State will glove it down, send it right back in. That's big Jared Cohen back to, to collect. He flutters one all the way to the ceiling, and we'll get another stoppage. I, I don't think we've played a solid, like, two minutes of clean hockey after that first set. We went from 18-29 down to 15-40-something. for that, that was the last time we had any real long stretches of play. And another puck will get flooded out to center ice here. Connor Callahan making a run for it, but he gets fend off by a Penn State defenseman, and Trevor Rucci will knock it loose. Oh, and a ba blind backhand pass ends up in Rowan's possession. They turn around quickly with it. Rucci backhands it into the zone, ends up hitting a player, and, it, and Callahan makes a nice effort play, ends up on his stick. He gets it back to Holland. Holland sends it all the way in and around. Rucci's there to get it. He sends it out the slot. Connor Callahan's stick is there, but he couldn't get it on. And now Cohen ends up with the stick or the puck to the right of those circles. He sends it around and behind Vance Moran will send it back to the point. Oh, another sh high shot goes high and wide. I don't think anybody touched that. It just soared. And there's big Jared Cohen make a run into the to the boards there. Penn State's looking to control along their own board. They can't find an out right now. Good pressure by Rowan. Finally, a little bit of space for Penn State. They clear their own blue line, center ice, and then Rowan's blue line. Nice move there. Nice defense by Rowan, taking the body instead of the puck. Jared Cohn will fight for it in his own corner. Root, uh, Jimmy Pollock comes in to poke it out. Nick Thomas flutters it up for him. Oh, and Penn State keeps it in the zone. A nice move. He steps into the set slot. Backhand shot. Oh, it goes wide. Colella. He stepped right in. Nobody took him. I mean, he did whatever he wanted. Here's another step in. They go point to point on it. Top of the circles is, is Penn State. They take a shot. Colella kicks it away low. Turning shot goes wide to Colella. He was not ready for that one. Luckily, it was wide again. Nick Thomas tries to trap the puck. Finally, Holland gets a stick on it and manages to bounce it out to center ice. Solid few shots there by Penn State. Um, really making space for themselves and, and shooting at the right angles, even though they went wide. Here they are again in the zone. Cutler comes in to try and protect, but they can't. Penn State ends up. But then they go in front of the net, gets tipped around and fluttered, and Colella just collects it there. That was Jacob Holland who flipped that puck up. And uh, luckily, Colella got a glove on it. So we'll have a face off just to his left. Again, I'm Matt Delavecchi here at Hollydale Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey. To my right is Dunlop's Bar and Grill. Great food, great beer, um, a great place to watch live local hockey. It's Friday night and you're watching college hockey. It's fantastic. Yep, that looks like six foot glass all the way across the bar there so you can watch and uh, enjoy the the game. Dave Cutler gets a puck off the face off behind the net. He backhands it up the boards, and there's Chris Conlon. He'll shovel one into Cam Chandler, skates it, bounces off, but Tanner Schroeder's there to collect it. He, they're going to call off sides. I think Cam Chandler got a little bit excited, stepped over the blue line. And we'll get a face off. 11 minutes, 34 seconds left in this first period here as our Rowan Profs take on the Penn State Nittany Lions. Um, this is number five, Penn State, versus number six, Rowan, in the division here. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a great battle for Rowan to show that they can keep rising. We talked about the toughness of Penn State's schedule. So if Rowan can put them on their heels here for a game, it would be great to prove themselves. Oh, and a, turn, and a, a turnover gets lost in front. To the left of Colella, sorry. And they're going to call a hand pass there. That was a little bit sloppy. Uh, Roka came back, and a Penn State Nittany Lions accidentally slid into his stick. The puck gets loose. Scary turnover there. And Roka even shook his head. Not sure what happened. So you got Tanner Schroeder at center ice. Dave Cutler back to his left. Cam Chandler to his right along with Roka. And Conlon is far away there on the other side. But Penn State wins it anyhow. They go point to point in front of the Rowan bench. Conlon steps up. They have to go around him. He sent it to the slot. I don't think Penn State knew it was coming, but he was open for the pass. It went right through. They get it behind the net. They go towards the slot. A good step in for Cutler. Schroeder pops it around a man. Cam Chandler continues. Now they pull it through. 
trying to whack at it and send it deep. They finally do, and they will get a line change. So now you get Carter Jones, Bobby Penrod will get on the ice. Here's Bobby Penrod now. He goes side to side to Will Garrison. Will Garrison with his head up. He comes back to Paul Keyes with it. Paul's, Paul Keyes looking to make a decision as Penn State is swimming around the defensive zone here. A long pass gets sent too far to the boards, and Penn State will grab it. Oh, and a nice little turnover. Will Garrison took a step into that puck there. He sends it in deep. Just over halfway left in this game. Penn State shovels it back to the point. Will Garrison will send it in all the way behind Carapondi. And, oh, Paul Keyes, oh, steps into a snapshot. Gets blocked away, and a rebound gets, yeah, and it goes in. A rebound got kicked wide around the net. It came out and off the angle. I don't know if it went under the pad or over the pad. It was tough from this direction. But it'll be one nothing rowing here. It's been a very choppy game, like I said. So pucks have been bouncing everywhere, left and right, I feel like. That one got kicked away uh, off a snapshot from Paul Keyes. It went wide of the net, banked behind, came around the offside. And I'm not even sure who knocked that in. I'm waiting to hear. Um, but uh, Carapani could not get over fast enough, and the puck makes it in the back of the net. So halfway through this first period, exactly, Rowan will take a 1-0 lead against the Penn State Nittany Lions. And you love seeing them come out first. You have to. Earliest, the earliest you possibly can. I feel like there was a bit of hesitation there. I don't know if they got a piece of it. Maybe it slid in after the fact. Uh, but I didn't see the ref's hand go until a few seconds after the play had looked like it was stopped. The players put their hands in the air. We're having a discussion now. So I don't know if Penn State coach called them over. Um, but the refs are having a long, lengthy discussion with Penn State coach. And I don't know what that was about. So now Trevor Rucci to take a face off. He's got Connor Callahan to his left and Vance Moran to his right. He wins it back. Jacob Holland on defense. He'll send it up. Connor Callahan ends up turning it over right at the red line here. Vance Moran has to chase after it. He pokes it around the guy. And they go, they exchange bumps, I'll say, because it wasn't any hard hits, but now the puck gets on a rowing stick behind the net here. They go back to Jacob Holland at the point. He goes point to point over to Rucci. It bangs off the boards awkwardly, and now Penn State's looking to charge. Oh, it flutters past their feet, and Rucci sends it over to Vance Moran. He'll backhand it in the zone. And Holland with a slap shot. It'll go. Oh, a nice glove save by Carapindi there. That went all the way through the slot untouched. That was a nice low shot. Carapani was in great position. It was a perfect angle from where I'm standing, and Carapani was there the whole time. So now you get a face off to his right. Now you got JT Zangara out there. It means uh, you would think Jimmy Pollock's taking this face off, which he is. Dave Cutler back on defense, along with Mike Miller. He'll dive in, Mike Miller, to keep that puck in. Penn State finally gets control of it. They come over their blue line, but then end up turning it over right in front of the own bench, and Mike Miller will backhand it. Oh, and it was a little bit too weak of a backhand, and, and Penn State has control of it in the slot. They can't get a stick on it. Up, and they go across. Oh, and it's stick block. They go back out in front. Man, a couple of opportunities you felt like were forming there for a second. Luckily, Rowan stops the, the pressure a little bit, but they still keep it in the zone. Penn State puts it back into the circles. They go to the slot. They're looking to backhand it for the short side. And they can't get a hold of it. Top of the circle comes out. Slap shot goes a little bit wide, I believe. I don't know if anybody got a tip on that or not. Penn State again turns around with a turnover at center ice. Bounced up. And now Penn State comes with it. They'll flutter it in on Colella. Colella will just collect it. He's trying to get it loose. I don't know if he can find it. They finally get it out there. Paul Keyes sends it over here. Here's Frateroli with the puck. He'll backhand it back across for nobody. He's just trying to get it off a stick. And now Will Garrison, he'll put it up the boards. Collin takes a hack at it. It doesn't go anywhere. Penn State backhands it back in. Oh, and a good reach. Oh, he still cannot clear it. Collin with a big reach. Whack at it. Now Penn State to the slot. They take a high slot, high shot, excuse me, over Colella's head. 
Penn State putting the pressure on right now, not able to clear. Finally, they do. Here's a puck in front of Tanner Schroeder. But it's way too close. Penn State defense jumps all over it. They're looking for a breakout across the center ice here. They're looking for a slot pass. I just, there's no urgency on Rowan's defensive part. And a puck goes across the slot, and luckily, Colella poked the stick out. And, and Keyes puts it back to the point, but Penn State still controls. Now they try to get out again. They finally do. And there's, oh, and there we got Camp Chandler. He ends up with the puck at the dot. He takes a shot. Looks like he got blocked away by Carapondi there. He was a little bit wide outside of the funnel, so to speak. It was an off angle shot, but it, oh, and a, and a slot pass just misses Chris Conlon. But at least he was taking shots and at the right angle on the net, I believe. Again, this puck is just getting bounced back and forth from team to team in the neutral zone, left and right. I mean, no, nobody's really set a big hit there on Carter Jones. He'll dive right in after it again, and deja vu. He ends up winning the puck, though. And now Rowan's got it. They go back to Jacob Holland at the point. Jacob goes back to Penrod. Penrod takes a shot off the off angle, gets blocked away. Penn State will bank it all the way off the boards and all the way down. This should be icing which it will be. So William will get a face-off down in Penn State offensive zone there. Um, again, you never see, you haven't seen any team get settled yet. You know, you want to see them get in, start working, go side to side, start moving the puck around. Penn State has some solid opportunities here, but I don't think they've gotten set up. I think they've been more opportunistic. Um, they have gone point to point a couple of times, but it hasn't been sustained pressure, which means both teams are playing pretty good defense. Um, I, would, I mean, of course, you always want to see Rowan down in the offensive zone as much as possible. You do want to see that more right now. I feel like you especially need it as we approach the last five minutes of the first period. But all in all, it's, it's, it hasn't been a lopsided game at, at any point. So now you get a battle of, uh, in front of Penn State bench. They collect it, and they try and go around Penrod. Penrod says no and sends it to Ramos, and Ramos will flutter one in. Looks like it got chipped up high. So it didn't go far. Oh, a nice set of hands there for Ramos. He knocks one down in the air. They're going to call a stick on that. I didn't think his stick went that high at all, but I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's the goal post, the top of the crossbars, if, you're if your stick is too high over that. It used to be the shoulders. And then they brought it down to crossbar height, if I'm not mistaken. Don't have a rule book in front of me. Rucci wins a faceoff. He goes to Holland. Holland kicks it all the way in. They're going to call icing on that, and they're going to bring it down in front of Kalella. Trevor Rucci to take the face off. Connor Callahan to his right. Jacob Holland takes a slash from Penn State here, right in, in front of us. And they're going at it, picking at each other's skates. Finding Callahan gets it. Back to the point, but not out. And then Penn State sends it in deep. Here's big Jared Cohen. He'll flutter one all the way down. Touched by Penn State. Now we got a race for the puck. Here's Connor Callahan. He's in on to put some pressure on Penn State. Makes them turn it over. That's why you pressure a man. And they could not quite keep the possession in the zone. So here's Penn State's going to clear their own. Holland puts a stick down the ice. And now we got a little oh, play was forming there. Penn State broke it up, and now they enter their zone, take a shot on Colella. Colella puts it in a glove, and he'll wait for a whistle. So you see uh, Connor Callahan, who got up on his horse entering the zone there, puts some pressure on Penn State, and you're almost like, why run after the guy? But then he turns around and makes a bad pass, turns it over in his own zone. So the reason why he put pressure there, I mean, they didn't end up making a play out of it of the hole, on the hole, but bad turnovers lead to goals. So put pressure on men, that's what happens. Mike Miller behind the net. He'll go, oh, sloppy pass to Dave Cutler. Doesn't land. Penn State collects it backhand in the slot, but they couldn't get the puck on the net, and it'll get kicked up into the, into the netting behind over the glass. Man, they had a, a backhand opportunity right in front of Colella, and I don't know if he was tied up or what, but no, no shot came off. So now you got Jimmy Pollock, who takes a fa loses a face off to Penn State. Penn State kicks it all the way in and around. And Dave Cutler's going to end up with a penalty here for what looked like holding. And that'll go to the against the captain of Penn State. That's number 19, Cam Duncan. He got tugged down from behind by Dave Cutler. Um, whether or not Dave Cutler actually did it, I don't know, but the hand on the shoulder is never a good sight to a referee. So it's easy for a guy to sell it when your hand's on your shoulder. 
But Trevor Rucci in on the faceoff. He wins it back. Garrison will take a slap shot all the way around the board. Tries to clear it, but Penn State gets to the glass. They go point to point. And they're trying to get set up in the zone. Two men to the board battle here. Paul Keyes gets a stick knocked out of his hands. Point to point again, back to a near side. Back again to far side. A nice call here, just shy of the circle. He'll step in on, oh, it takes a wide shot. Luckily, Colella was right where it needed to be. The shot went low and wide. Puck gets chipped up back into the corner. Penn State taking the time right now. Paul Keyes playing some solid defense, putting men along the boards. The puck gets sent back to the point here. Penn State moving this puck really well right now. Getting lots, oh, and a, and a fluttering shot goes to the left of Colello. He puts a glove on it. So a couple of small board battles, nothing crazy. Now you hate to see this, a minute and 14 seconds left. So if Penn State, you hate to see a face-off loss here. Uh, if they lose the face-off here and we get set up again, uh, it's just too much momentum right now. Especially under five minutes left in this first period. Four minutes, 28 seconds left. Carter Jones in to take the face-off. He's got Jared Cohen out to his right. Penn State gets called off this face-off right here, not without an argument. Oh, okay, lets him back in. I don't know what he sold him, but. So Carter Jones, and then you got Tanner Schroeder over here. He blocks the puck off the glove, and it'll go out. So a minute left in the Cutler penalty. One nothing here, four minutes, just over four minutes left in the first period. Penn State makes their way into the zone, and as soon as they do, you can see them look to settle. Everybody rushes to the zone, and then they all get to their positions and settle, but here's a pass that gets underneath a stick of the nitty line behind the net, and Jacob Holland will send it all the way down. Solid clear there. It'll knock off a good chunk of time. So you got Connor Callahan, Trevor Rucci, along with Jacob Holland and Jared Cohen on this power play. Oh, and Penn State gets ridden into the boards there. I think it was more awkward than it was purposeful. It was, I don't think it was anything crazy. Rowan putting bodies in the guys and then clearing the puck. Beautiful play by Rowan there. They controlled that whole play as soon as they got in. I mean, Rowan, um, Penn State cleared the blue line and then looked, like I said, looked to settle. They were trying to get set up, but Penn, uh, Rowan put some bodies on, on the guys here. Penn State makes it to center ice. They enter the zone, three seconds left. Shot gets blocked by Cohen. Cohen will get it into the corner. He tries to chip it up and cannot. So now this board battle happens again. Rucci pokes it up and over a stick. Penn State ends up with it along the board. They go to the slot. Thankfully, sticks are in the ice there. Cohen puts his stick on the ice and gets a, a block pass. Here's Vance Moran. He gets a hook on his hand, no call. He'll turn around, goes to the slot with it. Nobody there. Oh, and a nice play, nice good hit by Trevor Rucci. Penn State still ends up with it. They turn it over. Holland looks to make a quick pass. Oh, it gets blocked down by Nick Thomas along the red line there. Rowan will come in for a line change as Penn State comes streaking into the neutral zone. He'll chip it in. Paul Keyes gets it behind. He'll shovel it back to Nick Thomas, but doesn't get there. Finally, he gets out. Zen Garrett collects it right at the blue line. He'll go through center ice and gets poked away by Penn State defense. Will Garrison off his back foot. Oh, and nice little chip pass. Now we got a little three on two forming here. They go across ice. Here's Paul Keyes, the puck, the pass. Get it quite get there, it gets chipped up and over. Man, Paul Keyes collected a bad pass and still managed to get a shot on. They got chipped up and over Carapondi. A very close, good setup there. A little bit sloppy, he managed to a comeback and still no finish. So the game will remain one nothing. Two minutes left here. Penn State fighting to get it out of their own zone. Solid pressure from Rowan. Oh, and a turnover pass to Zangari. They're going to call offsides on. I feel like they've been a little bit aggressive with the offsides calls tonight, more than we normally see. Um, it is the furthest angle, excuse me, it is the furthest blue line from me, so I don't have a great angle, but I felt like he had that one there. Minute and 50 seconds left, one nothing rowing here. And they'll kick it around, finally goes back to Penn State off the faceoff. Penn State looks to make a pass, gets chipped away by Rowan. Finally sent in. Colello's going to put it on his stick. Has to leave it for Will Garrison. He'll knock it around for Paul Keyes. It gets chipped up into his jersey. A nice hit by Tanner Schroeder puts a man on the ice along the boards here. And the puck comes out to Ramos. Ramos chips it out in the center ice. Penn State there. They'll send it right back up. Will Garrison will get it at his own blue line. He banks off the boards and it'll get chipped up by Chris Conlon. 
And Carapani will swing it around his own net. Nice little pass behind the net to his own defenseman. And looking for a breakout. They can't get it. Conlon turns it to Schroeder. Turned around again. Conlon from the top of the circles. It gets shipped up. It's loose. Oh, and a good block away. And it gets shot again on a turnover. And they call it a goal. 2 nothing, Rowan. 2 nothing, Rowan. Penn State's going to argue this a little bit. Another awkward moment after the goal here. That'll be Tanner Schroeder. He makes a nice play here just in front of us. Puts a man on his back. Knocks him off the puck. Play formulates all throughout the ice. And another rebound. I don't know what happened. It was kicked away. Uh, then Carapondi. It kicked to the opposite side. Carapondi dove across his crease and put his stick on it. It came back out just in front of him. And I guess somebody knocked it in. They called a goal there. And the Penn State coach has his foot on the boards looking for uh, an explanation. So with a minute and sec six seconds left in the first period, Rowan will make it 2 nothing here. Love to see that at the end of a period. Takes a little bit more momentum away, makes that, makes that in between period speech a little bit more uh, nervous. A slap shot goes high on the Colella. Colella will glove it. Looks like Penn State's a little bit angry right now. There's some jawing going on. Trevor Rucci in on this face-off. This game's going to get a little bit tenacious very quick. See it boiling up a little bit here. Yeah, there's hands high on a hit there. Penn State will collect it behind, coming into the corner. They got it in the zone. They're looking to go for a slot pass, and then they go all the way back to the top of the circle. They take a block shot up. Vance Moran manages to get in front of one there. Penn State comes back. They go point to point. Another shot gets blocked up and over into the netting. And we'll get another face-off with 32 seconds left. Nice job. Chris Conlon with a nice job tying up that puck. It goes to Jacob Holland. He's got 26 seconds left. A nice pass to Tanner Schroeder. He chips one up. 20 seconds left. He goes back to get the puck. He Nice effort play there to kill some time. 15 seconds left as Penn State charges through. They finally turn it, they turn it over, but then back to Penn State. Slot pass slides into Colella slowly. Net comes off the moorings. Freaking occurrence here. I think it's, I don't know if the holes aren't deep enough or what, but 6.3 seconds left, two nothing, Rowan. Gonna win this face off here. Let's not make a dangerous play of it in the last few seconds. They do. A good win by Conley. Goes back to Cohen. Cohen will sit and wait. He'll wing it all the way back around for the last two seconds. Oh, Penn State takes a quick shot that gets chipped up. Oh, and a shot after the whistle right there. Does not go well. Penn State gets shoved to the ground. You do not take a shot after the whistle ever, especially at a goalie, at your players, when, after, when everybody's standing around doing nothing. This is exactly how you protect the front of the net in your own defensive zone when someone takes a shot after the whistle. Penn State is not happy right now. They're getting pushed around by a team they probably they probably think shouldn't be pushing them around. Yes, me, it's typical Penn State, but we got a feisty hockey game brewing. I told you it was going to boil over soon. A lot of little things started from the beginning. And Rowan will end this first period 2 nothing. We love it, okay? So it, it was a very choppy at first. No one, Like I said, no one got settled. Um, I, I, Penn State managed to keep the puck in the zone a long time only on the power play. Um, it's been a lot of back and forth. Uh, so you just want to see them carry this momentum of the 2 nothing lead into this second period. Can't let them come out and jump right on and score a goal. And they're going to come out hot. You know it. Okay, you know it. The, the coach is angry. He's been asking for explanations all night long. The, you just saw a show of anger there from the players. You know that they're, they're coming out hot. You need to come out and put them on their heels first and pop another one in. So it's all about momentum right now. Um, and uh, and we'll see what they come out for the second period. All right, I'm Matt Delavecchi again here at Hollydale Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey. We're going to take a 15-minute break about, and I will see you on the other side. I hope you join us here for the second period of uh, 
Rowan Hockey from RTN. Thanks.
All right, thank you for joining me for the second period. I'm Matt Delavecchi here, uh, streaming live on RTN from Hollydale Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey, as we get ready to start the second period here. 2 nothing Rowan as we go into the second period. And now I'm seeing that they are putting penalties on the board. Two and two. So you got two minutes for what I think is number 24, Tanner Schroeder. And you got two minutes and it says number 42. Okay. That's Nate Schumann, the left, left side defenseman for Penn State. So we'll get four on four hockey, a lot of ice it looks like. Um, and again, Rowan scored that second goal at the end of the first period. You got to see them come out here and, and they need to come out and jump all over Penn State. There's a lot of ice to be played with here. They have to be careful, the angles are different. Uh, your margin for error is a little bit smaller now because if you make a mistake with a lot of ice, there's a lot of ice given up. And here comes Penn State streaking into the Rowan zone. They get to the top of the circle. They can't get around. With some speed, they end up and turn it over. They go back to the point now. Penn State takes a good step to the outside. They go back to the other top of the slot here. They take a fluttering shot. It's blocked away off the butt. Of one. And now Penn State looks to control it in the corner. We get a battle along the boards. Rowan turns back in. They have to make a quick decision after some pressure from Penn State. Now Jacob Holland makes a long pass to Vance Moran. Vance Moran shoves it right in front of Jared Cohen, just a little bit too far, and Penn State ends up, up with it behind their own net. And it slides across center ice. Finally, Jacob Holland sends it right back out. Jimmy Pollock tries to knock it off a man. A sloppy turnover from Penn State. Paul Key sends it behind Carapind. Good finishing Jimmy Pollock. As Penn State clears his own across center ice. Finally pulls a stop to it. They go across the slot. Oh, and a whiff shot. That was a great setup. Great play for Penn State. Just no finish. And Kalel looked like he was where he needed to be, but no puck came his direction. So, And you can hear Coach Bennett calling out a big hit from Penn State. And the puck gets sent out all the way in front of JT Zangara. And he'll get it into the corner here. Penn State puts a body on a man. Pollock steps in to help him out. Zangara turns into the slot, ends up turning it over. Now Penn State streaks through the neutral zone. A nice pass. Almost broken up by Will Garrison, but it does get through. So now Paul Keyes has to go to battle in the corner. Behind Khalil. He turns out in front, and luckily no shot got off again. Bobby Penrod gets the puck on the blue line. He crosses center ice and leaves it for Paul Keyes. Paul Keyes steps over the, into the offensive zone. Back to Piper Red on the top of the slot. It goes wide of Carapin. I don't think he knew it was coming to him until it hit the boards. Now Paul Keyes into the slot. He goes across to Penrod. He could not get a shot off. Gets sent back across over the slot. Will Garrison will send it into the corner. Carter Jones could not get the control of it. And now they go to battle. Penrod there to block a good pass. And it goes back to Roca. Roca at the point. He does not get a hold of the puck and then gets beat into his own zone. They go to the short side shot, and luckily Kalel is there to block it away. And Rowan has to break out again. Here's Penrod. He steps around a man at center ice. Flutters one all the way deep. It's gloved down by Penn State and kept in by Carter Jones. Nice job there. And a, a way to put his body in front of a man. Bobby Penrod bounces around the net. He gets, takes a hit, too. Has to battle for it along the boards. He loses it to Penn State. Penn State turns it in. Another turnover into the slot. Goes slow. Oh, fluttering right over the top. I don't know if that went wider over top, but it was a slow-moving flutter. 
as Penn State goalie was down, but did not make it past the goalpost there. And now Penn State will slowly come into the zone. They'll take a high shot. Colella will bounce up and grab it. 16 minutes, 55 seconds left. Back to even ice. Still 2-0 after a couple hops there from Rowan. Um, winning some battles here along the board, which has been a problem the last few games, if you, uh, in my opinion. Um, they're always outnumbered, and when they are, even when there are even players along the board who are fighting for them, Rowan's just not getting there. They're not getting there first. They're not digging it out. But uh, this game so far, uh, especially in the beginning of this second period, I feel like they've been winning a lot of, of plays in the offensive zone. Collins steps around a man, and Cam Chandler has to go in and get the puck here. Penn State, ooh, Cutler turns in. He gets along the point. He sends it all the way to the opposite side corner. of Cam Chandler's there. He knocks it back to Conlon. Conlon gets his stick lifted, so an awkward pass comes off his stick. Now the puck gets knocked out the center ice. Penn State's there to collect it. They'll streak to the outside of the right circle. Looking for a blind backhand pass into the slot. Goes through some skates, thankfully, and out to the neutral zone. So Penn State looks to enter again. They do. On side here. Step into the circle. A nice move. They backhand. It goes to try to go around Colella, and they score. Penn State makes a nice move. They go back deep into the left of Colella. He pulls up, backhands it into the slot where another Penn State defenseman is there to knock it in. So 16, min 16 minutes, 10 seconds left in the second period, and it is now 2-1. to one. All right, uh, technical difficulties will join you on the other side. I All right, I apologize for the delay. Thank you for staying with us here as we come back from some te technical difficulties. Uh, I hate to say it, but since you left, since we left, the game, uh, the pace of the game has picked up significantly. Um, it, it, they are digging their skates into the ice now and going after it. Penn State ends up with the puck in the offensive zone right now. And uh, it has been some feisty hockey, especially down in this offensive zone. Now that Penn State is controlling in their offensive zone in Rowan's defense. So uh, it's getting hot. Score next, Penn State within the slot. They look for a rebound shot, and they finally put one in. Man, just as I was mentioning it, a lot of pressure being put on Rowan at that moment. A rebound comes around Colella, and they slide one in. The game was was getting this went on. Uh, you felt something was going to break soon, but unfortunately, it happened to be in the Rowan zone when that happened. So two here, 13 minutes, 45 seconds left from Hollydale Ice Arena in South Jersey as we watch watching Friday Night Hockey. Our Rowan Division II profs play the Penn State Nittany Lions. Again, Penn State's number five in the division. Uh, Rowan is number six in the division. Uh, and again, significantly less games played for Penn State. Six, six to one, six and one is their record to Rowan's 10, five and one. So it shows you the weight of Penn State's schedule for the and that many wins. So this is a, a good test for Rowan right now, a nice battle to make sure they can prove to themselves what they're capable of. So right now it's a pretty even game. Rowan will dump it in for Penn State. They collect it, chip it all the way up. It goes to Penrod battles for it. He gets it loose to Carter Jones. Play and to collect the Bobby Penrod, excuse me. Oh, and a nice fight there from Nick Ramos ends up putting a body into a man, but the puck still gets sent into Penn State. Mike Miller charges across the ice. He keeps the puck in the zone. A solid hustle from Rowan here, but Ramos ends up all alone and turning it over. Not without a fight again. Rowan doing a great job of putting pressure on and keeping it there. But now we get Penn State into the zone. Nice chip away by Mike Miller, and it goes into the net, and it'll stay in the zone. So some really positive pressure from Rowan, even though Penn State just scored. Um, they, they, it, from my eyes, I'm not keeping the clock on it, but I would say that Rowan's been pressured, putting pressure on Penn State in their own zone more than the opposite, more than Penn State's been putting pressure on Rowan in their own zone. So, you know, time on attack is, seems to be in Rowan's favor. I hope they got to continue that. Oh, a nice chip up, and now we got a lot of open ice. Here's oh, a good pass from Cam Chandler to Chris Conlon, but it ends up banking off the skate. They put it in front of the slot. They could not reach it. Tanner Schroeder almost got a, some tape on it but wasn't long enough of a reach. He goes back to the point. Holland steps in for a wrist shot. It gets tipped. It's loose in front of Carapondi. Rowan taking some wax at it, but finally a whistle will come. That was a nice play. So now we're going to face off, it looks like, to the right of Penn State's goalie. And 
Okay, so you got Tanner Schroeder in there. Con uh, Chris Conlin closest to us, number 21. Number 18 on the far side is Cam Chandler. And back on D you have Jared Cohn and Jacob Holland. They're going to be tested right now as we go two on two down the ice. Cohen steps in with a long reach to knock a man outside the funnel. He goes around, goes through the slot. And it gets chipped away, thank goodness. And now Rowan tries to chip it up and around. It doesn't work. They leave it. Holland can't get a grip on it now. Penn State looks for a slot pass. Oh, and they made it, but it went wide. I don't know if it was before the guy or... And another shot off a rebound goes wide again. And I believe we're going to get a penalty. Well, at least, oh, the net came off the moorings again, so we'll get a stoppage of play. Face off to the left of Colella. 11 minutes, 55 seconds left. 2-2 two to two here. So they go point to point. Penn State takes a wrist shot. Blocked off a knee from Chris Conlon. Interested to see how fast he gets up. He doesn't show any pain at all, which is a good thing. It was a hard shot taken. And Rowan clears all the way down to the opposite side. This should be icing. And they'll call it. Uh, they do call icing with some argument from assistant coach Brian Bennett. So, I don't know. I didn't see what he's arguing about. Um, I saw them chip it up. There was something that was touched early on. So Bennett was unhappy about it. He usually is the first vocal one of the coaches. Um, they all get loud when they need to, which is a good thing for a team. Oh, and the puck gets chipped out to the slot. Goes past, back to the point. Another knee block by Chris Conlon. Playing some solid defense. Chandler after his man, but they send it in around. Penn State gets it behind Colella. And now we're pushing some bodies around into the corner there. Tanner Schroeder's playing some solid hockey tonight. Cohen is a big guy, and he's making his presence known down there, but they got to get that puck out. Time is ticking, 11, 11 minutes, 12 seconds. And finally, a saucer pass out to center ice just over the reach of Conlon. He'll dip out to get a line change. And now you got Penn State three on two off of a, an awkward line change. And luckily, Rowan manages to bat the puck away. I felt like the line change was a little off time there. They left the defenseman hanging. But, uh, oh, and a, and a weak pass to the top of the slot. Penn State steps in for a wrist shot. It gets blocked away and back. And it gets sent out again, blocked away from flop. Wrap around gets blocked away by Colella with a pad on the ice. And now they'll go back to the point. They'll go cross to the top of the circle. A quick wrist shot low. Gets bounced around. They're digging for it. Puck's loose still. It gets kicked out in front. Finally, the skates advance. Moran and Rowan will get a breakout. A couple of scary moments there as the puck bounced around in front of Colella. That's how the last two goals were scored. And frankly, how all four goals were scored of the puck is bouncing around in front of the, or sliding around in front of the crease. Now here's an open ice pass. Connor Callahan gets the puck. He's at the dot. He manages to kick it around the net and turn it over. He was all alone. I don't think he had an outlet there, and, or at least he couldn't see one. So he ends up sent, turning it over to Penn State. He was outnumbered. They flutter one in on Colella, and Colella will collect it for a faceoff. Just under halfway left in the second period here from Hollydale Ice Arena. And again, I'll mention it. I try and mention it every time I can, but to my right is Dunlop's Bar and Grill. Um, I mean, even if there's not hockey going on, it would be an awesome bar. It's got all this old hockey memorabilia all along the walls. The old goalie face masks are all over the walls from all different teams and countries. Um, jerseys are up. They have great food. They got a full beer selection, full bar with great drinks. I mean, it's an awesome place. And then you can hang out. And here's Rowan looking for a slot pass. They get a quick shot on Carapin. He blocks it away, and Penn State clears it out. But... Uh, yeah, Dunlop's ha basically hangs over the ice here, so you get to sit at a nice pub, eat some food, drink some beer, and watch some live college hockey. I don't, it's just an underrated spot to hang out, if you ask me. So we'll get a, what was an icing call, I believe. We'll send it all the way back down. Def uh, excuse me, uh, defensive zone face off for Rowan. Nine and a half minutes to go here. It's been a rough period for Rowan so far. They've put up a good fight, um, but so far two goals from Penn State. Same type of goals where they're bouncing around. They were off a rebound. Men were tied up. Puck was sliding around. Now here's Bobby Penrod. He'll step to the top of the circle, take a wrist shot, get blocked away. 
by Penn State defense, and Jimmy Pollock tries to knock a man off the puck, and he can't do it. Oh, but then it flutters back in on his stick. Now you got Paul Keyes steps up. I'm sorry, Nick Ramos steps up. He makes a move, and he cannot get it around Carapin. And it goes back to the point. Will Garrison will send it back in. Oh, it's blocked by Penn State. Oh, and now we got a, an awkward three-on-one. It could turn into a three-on-two. Penn State stepping into the zone. They're trying to make a play out of it. And Rowan plays some solid defense. Now it turns quickly around the other way. Here's Tanner Schroeder along with JT Zangara in the slot. Zangara gets the puck in the slot. He tries to make a move. It gets kicked away by Carapin. And Rowan looks to make a, like, make a pass. Now Will Garrison get the puck. He'll send it back to the top of the slot. Oh, Cutler sends it in. He goes in. Cutler sends it in on a fluttering pass. That there was two props in front of the net. Look, I, I can't tell if it tipped off of Tanner Schroeder uh, or JT Zangara, but Cutler just very calmly collected the puck all the way at the top of the point. Uh, in the midpoint and just sent in a nice easy shot that got tipped off of somebody and went right in and around Carapin to make it three to two here with eight and a half minutes left in the second period. So the goals are coming in, in, here and there. Uh, again, I, like other than some power play uh, positioning, Penn State nor Rowan has had any sustained real setup tic-tac-toe goals yet. It's always been get in real quick and put a shot on. That wasn't set up, I mean it was Definitely sustained pressure, but not terribly long. Nobody's been lopsided, is my point. Um, and, and so it's been back and forth. So now we get a 3-2 to uh, score here with eight minutes left. And Penn State will get in behind Kalella. They shovel it back in deep. And here is Dave Cutler. Recently moved back to defense, but formerly an offenseman. So he knows how to attack the puck. He gets it in deep and finally peels back to get out of the zone. Nick Thomas will cover for him and go in. And he'll get the puck, send it in deep. Zangara on a man. He puts a shoulder into him. But Penn State wings it around. They'll collect it. Cutler tries to step in. He does end up with the puck and backhanded all the way back in the corner. So Penn State fighting for a breakout again. Bobby Penrod chasing his man. He chips it out. Carter Jones, way to play the body there. But Penn State still ends up getting into the zone with it. Puck's loose now. Getting batted around a lot. Penn State finally tries to go to the slot with it on the short side. Good stick lift there, but look like, I think it was Mike Miller put his stick under a man there. Uh, the player, Carter Jones is looking for a stick. He can't find it. He just gets off the ice. Rowan's got to put somebody on the ice here to make it even. They do, finally. Penn, not before Penn State gets, oh, a beautiful pass into the zone, but just a little bit wide. They could not complete the play. Holland will ride his man into the boards, and then we get a board battle again. So this is where you need to come up with these, and they do right there. Okay. Pen Robin, he'll back it in deep, and here's big Chris Conlon. He's big, he moves well, he gets in front of the net, and he's making space, he's got a long reach. It gets in on Carapin, Carapin ends up kicking it away, and Conlon doesn't like hands up in his face. He shoves Penn State down to the ice, but I mean, by, by at least six inches, maybe even more, Conlon is the biggest man on the ice. It's kind of like attempting to fight an offensive lineman when you're on the football field. He's literally looking down at these guys and, and jawing at them because they're looking up at him. It's just, it's, uh, it's pretty funny to watch. But when he's tested, he'll push you right through the glass, I'm sure. So we're gonna face off outside the zone. I think they're gonna blame Conlon for the net coming off the boring's, or the morning, excuse me, and uh, he'll kick it outside the zone. So you got Jimmy Pollock in there to take the face off with Chris Conlon and Ramos chips it into the zone. He goes after a man. Penn State still manages to get it past their blue line. Oh, center ice, Conlon puts his stick down. He puts it in front of Ramos, and now you got a nice little three-on-two charge here. Ramos wheels into the right side, he goes to the slot. Oh, a nice shot by Jimmy Pollock, right into the open side of the net as the goalie slid across the crease. A great setup, a nice, poised, slow pass to Jimmy Pollock in the slot, and it'll be four to two Rowan here. That was beautiful. So you get a turnover from Chris, Chris Collin, uh, intercepts a pass to center ice. He gently leaves it out front of Nick Ramos. Nick Ramos beats a man to this short side uh, circle here. Gets just beyond the circle and sends it into the slot. Jimmy Pollock collects the puck. He was patient. He waited for Carapin, the goalie, to slide across the crease. And he sends it into the same side corner. Now here's Zangara with a puck on his stick at the top of the circle. He's looking for a, a shot. He takes one batted away by Carapin in the shoulder. Rowan's got some momentum now. Two goals straight, unanswered. Six, six minutes, 15 seconds about left in the second period. Okay, so now the puck gets 
sent in to the left of Colella. Cohen will wheel it all the way around and gets sent through some Penn State Nitty Lions. And then out to center ice, well, they will flutter it all the way back in deep. Five minutes, 45 seconds left. A nice long stress pass to Cam Chandler puts Penn State in a weak position. He takes a shot, kicked away by Carapin. It was a heads up play there to try and make some space out of an opportunity, but good shot, no finish. Cam Chandler ends up with the puck again. He'll chip it into Penn State. And see, Rowan's doing a good job of just finishing their hits, putting pressure on guys and not letting up, okay, until the end of the play. And because of it, Penn State's feeling like they're getting bullied around and they're getting a little frustrated. You could see after every play there's a, 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 a small cross check or a chip at the, at the laces. Penn State gets frustrated. I think Rowan's doing a good job of staying on them. Holland makes a long pass that end up being icing. All right, so. I believe Bobby Penrob does have a goal tonight, which he was the goal leader coming into this game. Before this game, prior to this game, he had nine goals. And behind him was Nick Ramos with eight. Um, so Penrob will probably go up to 10 at least. I don't know if he got that second one or not, but he'll go up to 10. Jimmy Pollock had six goals. He'll go up to seven. But your, your overall goal leaders for this Rowan offense is Bobby Penrod, Nick Ramos, James, JT Zangara, Tanner Schroeder, and Jimmy Pollock. Um, so those guys are names you're hearing a lot tonight for good reason. Here we got a little two-on-one. Saucer pass to the slot. Gets chipped up. Vance Rand. It was just too far out in front of him. He couldn't get all of it on. And uh, Rowan still makes a nice play, though. You know, they're showing the plays are opening up when they hustle. And that's what the, every goal has been so far, is hustling around the net, but also hustling to the puck as it's forming at the blue line. And then whack down puck, it's high stick, but Penn State touches it, so that'll clear the penalty, or clear the stoppage. A good hit from Vance Moran will knock Penn State off the puck, and Will Garrison will send it all the way back around to the point where nobody but Penn State is. There's a water bottle on the ice. Oh, well, that happened. Re uh, who was that? R Rucci knocks one down. Sends it in front of Vance Moran, but Vance Moran gets picked, and now Penn State sends it all the way back down. No icing is called. Paul Keyes is slow to get to the puck. He does pull it out, and he's looking for an out, and he does. He gets it with Bobby Penrod. Bobby Penrod gets smushed along the board, still ends up with the puck. He'll send it in across the slot, just too far out in front of Rucci, and Rucci wins a puck in the corner by himself. Send it to the slot. Oh, just off of Penrod's stick, and now Penn State looks to break out just in front of the Rowan bench. They get it across center ice. It gets knocked down and sent in, sent in deep. So three minutes, 45 seconds left here in the second period. Four to two, Rowan. Carter Jones will leave the puck for Penrod. Penrod could not get a stick on it. Oh, nice knockdown by Ramos. Makes a second attempt and knocks it in deep. Again, the effort plays, man. The hustling is what keeps the puck in the zone. The longer the puck's in the zone, the more opportunities are going to form. It's just that simple. They're going to call offside. I, I, and I, his skates were definitely out of the zone. So, so like I said, uh, and, and again, the goal leaders, Bobby Penrod, Nick Ramos, JT Zingara, Tanner Schroeder, Jimmy Pollock, right? All between six and eight goals. And now go, that'll go up tonight, at least for Bobby Penrod. Your points leaders, Trevor Rucci, I talked about him before the game. So he's not, he's not on the list for goals, but Trevor Rucci makes every single play. I mean, it, it improves it by a, a significant percentage. Every time he touches the puck, something good happens. And if, it, if it's not immediately visible, it's something that he that he beat positionally to make his put his team in a better position. The guy is not the biggest guy in the world. He digs out pucks against the biggest guys that he plays against. He's always hustling. His head's always on a swivel. So he's your points leader, um, at least coming into tonight. Trevor Rucci was. Uh, Bobby Penrod right behind him. I imagine that'll go up for Bobby. Obviously, he's been on the ice a lot tonight for goals as well. Um, Trevor Rucci also leading the team in assists as well. So he's just, he just gets everywhere. And again, he wears that C on his chest. He's been here. He's a local South Jersey native. He's been playing here for his whole collegiate career. He's been playing on this ice his whole life. This is where he grew up playing. So it only makes sense he is where he is with this Rowan team and that he's atop some of the most important stats on the team. Penn State will collect a, right at the dot to the left of Kalel. They go across the slot. Luckily, it was fumbled. No shot taken. And Nick Ramos knocked the man to the ice. But Penn State still gets possession. Rowan's bumping bodies around. Penn State can't stand it, but they still have possession. And I think that was Jimmy Pollock who knocked it around. Dave Cutler has to chase after it, but Penn State takes, takes it into the far corner here, or excuse me, this, this near side corner. And they have to dig it out. They go back to their own point. Two minutes exactly left. Uh, we'll look like a snapshot got blocked wide. It goes sent out in front of Colella. Luckily he was there, but it 
nobody else was there to collect from Penn State. Now here's heads up, Jimmy Pollock tries to make a move to center ice. He gets pushed off the puck, and Penn State will turn right back around into the offensive zone. Just under two minutes here. Four to two Rowan as their Penn State buzzes around the net. Nothing comes of it. Cutler has to get collect the puck. He's looking up for a long pass. He can't find a lane. Has to circle back a couple of times. Finally banks one off the board for JT Zangara who chips to center ice to himself. But gets picked so he sends it in behind. Nick Thomas in to get it. Nobody on him. Oh, he sent it to the front. And here is Zangara. Can't get his stick on it. Penn State defense was standing in around the... The net, and finally, oh, Jacob Holland, I believe that was. Yeah, Jacob Holland tries to send one in deep and ends up hitting the net, and we'll get a stop at the play. All right, so uh, pressure back on Penn State now. Rowan doing a good job. Getting sticks on the puck. Tanner Schroeder in to take a face off. He wins it and sends it right in on the carapin. He'll slow it down behind his net. Penn State formulates a breakout, ends up turning it over at center ice and whacked back in by Tanner Schroeder, not before Penn State can knock it down. And they look to exit their zone. Nice finishing hit by Thomas there. Under a minute left in this second period now, 4-2. to two. Gets kicked back to the point at Penn State. They go backhand point to point, cross to the slot. He cannot get a puck on the ice. It goes high, fluttering across the slot again. Luckily, Holland's there to, to put pressure on a guy. They send it back in. Penn State can't keep the puck on the ice. Rowan is everywhere they turn. 35 seconds left now. A lot of pressure from Penn State right now. Rowan's doing a good job of holding on. They're poking pucks away, but they can't clear it. Always ends up in Penn State possession. Here they are again. The shot goes way wide. It wasn't even touched. Just an awful shot. And now digging along the boards is both, are both teams. Penn State is holding a man's stick, or skate, excuse me, no penalty. It finally goes around to Cohen. Cohen banks off the boards, but Penn State puts a body along and keeps it in. A big hit there. And finally they clear out. Six, six seconds left. Whack down in front of JT Zangara. I don't think he knew what was happening there for a second. One second. Zangara knocks a man off the puck, and that'll end the second period. So again, I think a lot of the same from the first period, where it was, it was uh, even. Again, there was more pressure from Rowan, I feel like, um, but Penn State still had plenty of opportunities going into the zone. Overall, of course, Rowan comes out with that period. Um, I'm very happy to see them do it. they got to come out again in the third period. Um, two goals is great to score in the second, especially after they scored, uh, Penn State scored two goals coming out. Um, they they got to keep this momentum going. 4-2 to two against the number five team in the division is big for them. Going into the third period, a two-goal lead is big for any hockey team. they got to keep up with it. Um, so again, I'm Matt DeLavecchi here at Hollydale Ice Arena. We appreciate you joining us for two periods so far. Please join me on the other side for the third, and I will see you in a few minutes. Thank you.
All right, welcome back to the third period here from Hollywood Ice Arena. Um, as we watch our Rowan props take on the Penn State Nittany Lions, I'm Matt Delavecchia here. Ready to get the third period started. Rowan opens up the third period with a two goal lead after popping two in the second period there and taking momentum away from Penn State. This is an important third period and two goal lead against the number five team in the division. A chance to prove themselves, like I've been saying. It's been a very back and forth hockey game. You've, you've had individual uh, points of pressure from each team in the offensive zone, but nothing, like I said, I keep saying it over and over again, it's been nothing lopsided. It's been a very choppy hockey game, especially the neutral zone. A lot of pucks bouncing around, a lot of board battles. There's been a lot of opportunities at the slot. Uh, both teams are racing in and looking for a quick combination into the center of the ice. But so far, six goals total. The first four goals, both two for each team, came from rebounds and bouncing pucks around the, the, the net that ended up getting shot in on off angles and the goalie wasn't even there because of rebounds. The next couple goals, uh, one was tipped in and the other one was a nice shot. Oh, and one goes quickly on Colella, he'll love it. Uh, the fourth goal from Rowan was uh, a nice shot from Dave Cutler back at the point there. So, uh, not seen any hard patterns quite yet. I mean, we only got one period of play left. Penn State's gonna come out hard, they have to. Um, and let's see if Rowan can maintain and respond. So that's Penn State will take a shot now. It gets blocked off by, I think, Trevor Rucci. And they'll try it. Oh, Paul Keyes finally kicks it out to center ice. Now he goes, now we've got a three on one here. Penn State rushing to get back. A shot goes in on Carapin. He gloves it. He had a three on one there, but Keyes chose to take the shot, which got blocked up into the bread basket of the goalie. And we'll get a face off to his right. Okay, not a whole lot of penalties. I think there's only one penalty per team in this game. And they were uh, they were called uh, together at the end of the first period. There's a lot of pushing and shoving that went around. Ever since then, there's been no penalties. Rowan with a quick shot from the slot. It gets bounced around a couple times. They managed to get it on net, but blocked away. So now we get uh, digging for it. Two versus two against the boards behind Carapin. Penn State digging for it. They kick it out to the corner. Looking for a breakout. Thomas steps up to chip away. Conlin, or excuse me, Cohen whacks it back in. On side, but Rowan doesn't end up with it, and Penn State will send it all the way down behind Colella. Excuse me, Cohen sends it back to the front of his bench. Penn State to the opposite corner. Holland races for it. Tries to lift the stick, but Penn State ends up with the slot. Oh, and a, a high shot goes wide of Colella. And they control. A nice pinch by Jimmy Pollock. He'll send it to Nick Thomas to Zangara. Zangara crosses across center ice. He'll send it in deep, and Rowan will get a line change here. So you got Cam Chandler who steps on with Tanner Schroeder, Dave Cutler back with Jacob Holland. Penn State getting a line change themselves. They send one in on Colella. He puts it down to the ice with a paddle, and Rowan sends it back to Penn State. Oh, and then a turnover to Cutler. Cutler steps up to center ice and into the zone. He'll send it in deep. A little dump and chase hockey here. Penn State gets to it, but they send it all the way around to their own guy. Oh, and then almost broken up by Rowan. Oh, and here's a fluttering puck goes into Penn State. They look for the slot pass. Chipped up a good stick out in front by Colella. Will knock it off the stick of Penn State. Heads up play there by just blocking that pass enough so that not a clean shot got off. Rowan sends it all the way back down. They should cancel this. I think this is Cam Chandler and Tanner Schroeder's in the slot. They can't get the puck to him, and Penn State will co collect it to the right of their own goalie. A nice hit by Tanner Schroeder. He's come out with a lot of effort in this game. He had a, a, a small injury a few games back. Oh, man, the player bounces off of Chris Conley. Like I said, Tanner Schroeder been coming out hard this game. Penn State takes a low shot. Colella picks it away. He was out, uh, Tanner Schroeder was, with a groin injury, at least for one, two games at least. And uh, last game he played a little bit, or two games ago he's played a little bit since then. We got a slashing call, it looks like here. But tonight, Tanner Schroeder comes out in full force. So hopefully things are turning around for him. He gets some more steady ice time because he's making a difference tonight, especially with the body. Penrod's hand is out towards the ref, questioning why. So slashing penalty looks like will go against Rowan. So it'll be an odd man play for two minutes here. Five on four. Penrod giving it to the ref a little bit. It's Cam Chandler who's going to take the penalty. Now you have Trevor Rucci has a discussion with the ref. Just getting some answers. So you got Rucci in on center. Paul Keyes, Vance Moran, and Will Garrison also out there. Oh, Penn State banks it off and turns it over. Rucci backhands it to center ice. 
makes Penn State have to retreat just into their zone. And then all the way back, he'll pressure. Now Penn State to the top of the circles. They make a fast stride. Oh, and the shot goes wide to Koloa. It goes all the way around to the point. Penn State looking to make a oh, quick wrist shot. Gets gloved by Koloa. Didn't tip off anybody, so it looks like he had a good eye on it the whole way. So Cam Chandler gets a penalty. He's not even top five on the team in penalty minutes, so it's not often you see him sit for two minutes. Here's Tanner Schroeder again, again in its center. A minute 30 seconds left on the penalty. Penn State takes a shot right to the chest of Kalel. They'll get another face off. So a minute 26 seconds left on the, on the Chandler slashing call. Just under 17 minutes left in this third period, four to two Rowan. Just a couple weeks after Thanksgiving here, a few weeks before Christmas is, a, is an exciting time. Come out and watch some live hockey, local bar, Dunlop's Bar and Grill. Great food, great beer. Some live local college hockey on Friday night. So here's Penn State into the zone. They come out wide. They're pushed out wide of the funnel. They send it all the way in and around. Schroeder puts a body on a man, but puck ends up on Penn State still, stick still, excuse me. And Will Garrison does the same, puts his man into the glass. Now it's a two-on-two -two battle into the board. Penn State comes up with it. They're looking to make a slot pass. Rowan's getting settled in on defense, but you got to separate a little bit. They're a little bunched up. Still five on four for another 45 seconds. A shot gets tipped up over Colella. High under the glass, and now it comes out to the point. And finally, Pollock gets a stick on it. He sends it in, and now you get a change. you got Carter Jones comes off the bench with, uh, looks like Nick Ramos, Cohen back on defense, and here's Jacob Holland stepping up on a man. Penn State ent enters the slot and blocked away by Colella on a glove, and then sent back down again by Cohen. 20 seconds left on the five on four. Rowan had a couple clears. This will make it maybe three clears during this penalty kill. So a little bit of pressure. And here's Penn State trying to weave into the slot again. They dip his shoulder, send a puck in sliding all the way through. And then back out to the point, or to the dot of the circle. Holland will flip one out, and it can't quite clear the blue line. Nice keep. And then Carter Jones whacks at it. Here's Penrod, and the penalty is over. We'll get some even ice time finally. Just over 15 minutes left in the third. It'll be back to five on five hockey as Cohen gets the puck behind Kaloa. He steps in front and flutters out to center ice. Oh, a skate down by Penn State will block that puck. He'll step into the zone and wait for his charge to come in. They do get there. Maintain control, and Penn State gets the puck. They send out the slot, bounce around, awkward. Cohen sends it out. We're gonna get a whistle for the net coming off the moorings again. Dangerous play there, puck uh, was rolling around and right in the blue there around Colella, but Cohen was there to whack it out to the boards. So again, five on five. Two goal lead. Trevor Rucci, Nick Ramos, and Bobby Penrod out there. The bubble line, so to speak. They all used to share the same face mask. That clear face mask, so they called them all bubble. The bubble line, excuse me. Obviously, they have since switched because there's two cages out there now, but the name stuck. So Penn State gets the face off. They wrap it around. Luckily, the paddle's down for Colella. He's trying to collect the puck. He can't do it. Penrod turns up towards his own boards. He can't clear. He pushes a man to the ice and makes sure he stays on the puck. Finally, he gets loose. And they dig it back into the corner. Two-on-two -two battle here with Rucci kind of hanging, waiting for the puck to squirt out. It finally does. Penrod shovels it out to him. He'll send it. Oh, nope. He takes a stop. Pulls up. Goes around. Nice and patient with the puck. Puck Cohen. Cohen banks off the boards. And it gets out towards the, the blue line. A nice uh, patient play. Here's Rucci again with those stick. We got a little two-on-one. Rucci to Penrod. Penrod in the slot. He goes around. Nice, beautiful play. Wraps it around behind the goalie. And Rucci will poke it in. Five to two, Rowan. Beautiful play. So you got the two captains of the team, the, the, the captain and the assistant. Rucci and Penrod have a two-on-one forming. Penn State on Penrod's back, but Rucci makes a nice pass. Penrod holds on to it until the goalie gets down on the ice and then swings it behind the goalie across the front of the crease out to the front of the net where Rucci is, and Rucci will poke it in. So just over 14 minutes left, they'll make it a 5-2 to two game. Beautiful, beautiful play by Rowan. Capitalize on opportunity, 
Rucci made a nice play first here in his own defensive zone to turn that in. Oh, and a beautiful shot! Connor Callahan puts one in over the left shoulder of Carapin. A beautiful shot, just outside the dot of that face-off circle, and a very quick one-two punch makes this a 6-2 game. People in the stands are loud and proud right now, as they should be. A sniper shot from Connor Callahan, a guy who's always involved with the play. Another young guy, I believe. He came, I believe he came over with JT Zangara. I think they were line mates from where they came from. Two younger guys. This team's whole approach in the offseason was depth. I say it every game because it's just showing itself to be true. As they switch the lines around, you see young guys creep up into the first and second line and even in that top tier of the third line players. And they're not afraid to take shots. They're, they're talented with the puck. Connor, oh, Connor Callahan immediately takes a big hit off that faceoff. But prior to that, he's he stepped up into that circle on that last play and took a snipe shot over the left shoulder. So a young guy making a great play. He's always after it. You'd like to see him take more shots, but he, he gets after it. So now Vance Moran sends the puck sliding to center ice. Penn State collects, and they have to dodge a hit, which forces them to retreat a little bit, but not before... Their defenseman steps up to collect it. He looks to dip a shoulder, go to the slot. Luckily, it skates across, and Miller's there to send it back to the point. A wrist shot gets tipped away. Penn State tries to backhand it. It slides just wide. Thank goodness everybody had a man there. Ken Chandler tries to bank it in up to the point, but he can't do it, and finally they clear. That puck was slow to slide out to that left side of Colella. Thankfully, I think Cutler had a man in front of his net, so no stick was available to grab it, as there was a lot of open net on that side. Oh, nice step up there from Trevor Rucci. He didn't even throw his shoulder. He just stepped up in the right position. And that player is hunched over, skating to the ice. Or excuse me, skating to the bench. So Paul Keyes now. He sent it to the slot. Here's Cam Chandler takes a shot. Blocked down by Carapin. And a nice couple sets of pressure there from Rowan. As they spend a lot of time in that offensive zone. Six to two here. A little bit, a little bit more than half period left. Nice solid four goal lead. So you see significant bump in the points for that Rucci, Ramos, and Penrod line. They've been killing it tonight. And I, I, I know head coach Dan Damani wanted to see some more of them in, the, in recent games. I think they're finally getting around to it. Uh, it. Took a little bit to get settled in, but man, they've made their presence known tonight for sure. There's Tanner Schroeder. He'll win a clean face off actually to, to the middle. So nobody was there to get it. Will Garrison makes a sloppy pass into the slot. Penn State turns around and wings a shot. Luckily, Colella put his stick down. Blind backhand pass by Will Garrison. I don't know if he thought it, nobody was there. I don't know what his goal was, but that was a dangerous play to make. And Paul Keyes has to go dig it out of the corner. Now Will Garrison, puck goes over his stick. And Penn State will go back. They take a snapshot low on the ice. Ends up in the slot. Rolls off a stick. And Conlon will pick it up. He'll send it all the way back into the opposite side. Camp Chandler is on his horse to get that puck. And he makes a play. Oh, he gets dumped into the corner. And it goes right back to him. Now, there's a little bit of thrashing around going in that corner. I think Cam Chandler didn't like the way he was drugged down there. He took a man down himself, but he'll get off the ice. And Penn State will send it to his offenseman skating around the net. They'll break out just clear of the blue line, cross center ice now into the offensive zone. Sticks all over him, and they're going to call all sides. Zangara, another young guy, he's out there, sticks all over. He's jawing at number 11. Rowan getting after it tonight on home ice. So you got plenty of hockey left here. So you guys stay on top of it, right? You can't let up. Don't take your foot off the gas. Penn State's been gotten angry a few times before, so expect a little bit of pushback, at least physically. They're going to try and control this game, but Rowan's got to stay on their haunches here. Penn State looks to make a move. Good defense play by Rowan there. Nick Thomas ends up with it. He'll send it to Jacob Holland. He tries to touch pass it, but too slow. Ends up behind the net. Cohen will dip in for it. Pollock puts another man into the boards. Penn State comes up with it. They'll go across to the point. Step up at the top of circles. Wrist shot goes high and wide. Not high, wide. Excuse me. Holland. He'll flutter one out. It just gets clear of the blue line to center ice. And then Penn State will turn right back around and wing it all the way in on Colella. Set of the side as Cohen comes to get it at his own circle here. Long pass goes right to Penn State and just into their own zone, and they tip it back all the way in. So one on one here. Holland gets the puck sent to him from Cohen. A long pass gets 
looked like it hit somebody, so no icing. Oh, they do call it. I thought Roan was right on top of them. I thought somebody tipped it, but they call icing, so it'll come all the way back down into Roan's zone. Exciting couple minutes there. 10 minutes, 59 seconds left in this third period. Again, I'm Matt Delavecchia here from Hollydale Ice Arena in Sewell, New Jersey. I love calling these Roan games. I always talk about it. It's live local college hockey. These guys get after it, and it's right in front of you. It's free or very, very cheap to even get in. If at all. Oh, and a high shot makes a clear pathway to Colella, but he'll catch it in his chest. So, short car ride, plenty of parking, real food, not stadium food. You get to watch some college hockey. So you got Carter Jones in on center, Nick Ramos out there with, looks like, Roca, and Bobby Penrod is also out there. Cutler gets shoved around, and the puck slides to him still, and it goes to Colella. Penn State is dipping shoulders and getting underneath the guys right now to try and control this puck. And they finally get it. It gets to the slot, bounces around, whack that, goes out to the point, top of the circle, steps up to the top of the slot, gets kicked away by Colella, bounces around, and finally gets whacked out just past and clear the blue line, which will make Penn State have to retreat out of the zone. They turn up center ice. They come in quick. Oh, a snapshot goes way high and wide over Rowan's goalie. They go point to point with it. Penn State is buzzing right now to the slot. Colella with a paddle down, makes two saves of the same motion. Cutler gets torn down, no penalty. Penn State is controlling this play right now because Rowan just cannot get on top of it. Oh, and Cutler tries to make a big hit, but it gets sidestepped. So, same thing with Ramos, but the puck comes loose. He sends it up to, excuse me, that was Roka to Ramos. Ramos will send it up all the way down for icing. I can't believe they're going to keep the icing on. How are they going to keep the icing on? And you can see Brian Bennett is asking the same question to the refs. That was a weak icing call, especially with the lollygagging that was happening trying to get to it. A little less than halfway through, excuse me, a little more than halfway through this third period. Six to two Rowan. I know Penrod, Schroeder, Ramos all scored. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have the names of the others in front of me. But those are all the same guys that are on the list already for being points leaders and goal leaders. Rucci did lead in assists, so I, I don't know where his stats sit after tonight right now. The ref is playing games again with dropping the puck. Penn State wins it. They send it up. It gets kicked high up onto the glass and banks around to the point or into this corner. And looks like Carter Jones knocking some men around. Puck gets loose to Cutler. Cutler gets dragged down from behind. No call again. There's two missed calls if you ask me, but God, it's frustrating to watch something like that happen, especially going to get a breakout with some speed. Gets drugged down from behind. Colella makes a quick play to try and get the puck. Man, that was scary for a second there. I got caught up in that. Colella tried to get the puck loose. Penn State, they're working behind the net, trying to get it in front. Colella puts his stick down. Plenty of space taken up by Colella's stick tonight. Very active, and he's collecting it all, which is good to see. Sometimes it's dangerous to put your stick out. The puck bounces off of it. You get a lot of rebounds from it. There's a lot of goalie coaches that would say, don't even reach for it. As soon as you reach for a puck, you bring it into your own zone right in front of you, which could cause a stir. But Colella has been able to control it every time it gets in front of him. He's making great use of that paddle. Face off one to Paul Keyes. He sends it all the way around to the bench, and Vance Ram will make sure it gets out to the blue line. Penn State will send it all the way back in the same way it came out. Right back to Paul Keyes. Paul Keyes backhanded over to Will Garrison, who has his head up the ice, so his stick did not get on the puck. And Penn State comes in to pick it up. So now they got a battle for it. Here's Rucci in deep. Connor Callahan, he finally knocks the Rucci. Rucci all the way around to Paul Keyes. Paul Keyes turns up in front of his own bench. He'll send it to the center ice, looking for Connor Callahan, but just too far out in front of him. Ended up on Penn State's stick. Penn State turns it right back over to Rucci. Rucci sends it in just into the zone. Back and forth again here in the neutral zone. Eight and a half minutes left in the third period. A four goal lead for Rowan. So Penn State will root. Go all the, way, all the way back in front of their net. A little bit of shaky play there. Never, I never like when a, a player goes back to his own player in front of his own goal. It's usually a big no-no. You know, in between the circles there, you call it the funnel. Keep every puck outside of that funnel, especially on defense. 
Banks in. Puck banks off of the boards and AJ Colella. Again, I've said his name a hundred times tonight, so I wonder how many saves he's had. Puck drop here to the right of AJ. Cohen will knock it on the backhand around. Connor Callahan manages to knock a man off the puck, and Holland is streaking up into the zone here. He's got Schroeder following. He goes back to Schroeder. Schroeder takes a shot. Collin in there to block it. It gets knocked around, they knock it in, finally! Big Chris Conlon went right to the net. Schroeder took a shot. Another rebound score. Camp Chandler's gonna knock it in for a goal. Seven to two Rowan Profs here. Gotta love it. They had to show up tonight. And another of the same type of goal. It's a hard working goal. You go in, you get to the net, send pucks to the net, and get ready for a rebound. Put your stick on the ice, find the puck, and, and take a hack at it. If all else fails, get pucks on net. So now Schroeder, Ramos, Pollock. Schroeder has two goals, Pollock, Ramos, Cam Chandler. Goals are being handed out to everybody tonight. Love it, love it. Big hit in for Jimmy Pollock. Now five goal lead for Rowan. Penn State looking to make some quick long passes to try and get something formulated. Rowan just making better of opportunities and in my opinion showing more effort around the net when the puck is He's like, oh, and a slap shot goes to Colella. It bounces around in front. He manages to get it. And Penn State puts a stick into the back of Cohen. Cohen doesn't like it. And I may have been mistaken because number 19 from Penn State looks to be slightly bigger than Cohen. I didn't see him earlier. But they're jawing back and forth. So you wonder if Penn State can hold its, its poise. They got frustrated a couple times earlier. Six minutes, 55 seconds left with a five goal lead. So you wonder how much damage they can actually recover if Rowan keeps up the way they are. And Penn State already trying to put, Jimmy Pollock keeps putting shoulders into people along the glass and it's perfectly timed, clean hits. And he's just showing you that I can. I'm gonna hit you whenever I get a chance. He got the nickname Heads Up Jimmy Pollock because I mean, it, he's just a crisp hockey player. I know I've used that word again tonight for another, another player, but it's the same type of hockey. His head's up, his head's on the swivel constantly, and Jimmy Pollock rarely puts the puck or his body in a bad position, and he, and he makes plays because of it. So now Bobby Penrod will get the puck just outside of his bench. He is patient with it. Takes a weak, hick, a weak hit. Excuse me, Penn State has to go side to side and then all the way diagonally across the neutral zone. It'll end up on Mike Miller's stick and Rowan pushes it into their own zone. It should be offside. I, I don't know why they didn't call it, I guess, because Rowan brought it in, but here's Dave Cutler through center ice and into the offensive zone. He tries to make a move around, and man has to pull up and stop along the boards. Nice backhand pass to Callahan. Callahan took a hit, wasn't a hard one, but knocked off the puck. He sends it to Will Garrison, who backhands it right back in behind Carapinda. I think that's his name. Carapindi, excuse me. And now Vance Moran banks off the glass. Penn State paws it down with the glove and they have to send it in deep to go chase for it, not before Will Garrison will get it. And there's an offside call right now. Yeah, they're, oh, and Penn State trips over each other at neutral zone, a lot of hemming and hauling because of it. And Paul Keyes tries to make a move around, around, around a man, he can't do it, Carter, nope, Trevor Rucci knocks it down. He tries to get to the slot pass, it's blocked by Penn State. They finally high, clear, shot all the way down. This should be icing. Oh, he's gonna call it off after he didn't call it off down there. Gosh, now the puck gets sent out to the slot. Penn State turns, quick shot gets blocked. And luckily, Paul Keyes is there to get it. Cam Chandler up the boards here. They backhand it. Here's Paul Keyes again. That was the same exact icing call that was down the other way. And he's going to call it nothing. He's going to call it nothing. And then he's going to call icing on Rowan. 
this ref's just making terrible icing calls right now, and everybody knows it. And the ref warns Brian Bennett. He's not happy about it. And everybody's arguing with everybody right now because this is the wrong call. So the puck in deep now. Penn State has to get it out of their own zone. They make a long pass diagonally across the neutral zone, which banks off and goes right in on Colella. Colella bats it away. Defense thinks they're going to cover it. They don't. Puck goes to the slot and a goal from Penn State. Man, just a sloppy play, miscommunication there. Colella should have just covered that up. Both his uh, defensemen anticipated that. Instead, he kicks it away, and the puck goes back across the slot for a high shot. Frustrating couple of moments as, as the team gets mad at the refs, and then you can't blame that. The play went on after the fact, and it's just a lazy play back here. I don't think it was lazy. I think it was more of a miscommunication where Colella should have just uh, ate that up for a whistle. So now it's 7-3, to three, four goal lead with four minutes left in the third period. And you got Will Garrison who's about to leave the ice. Don't know why. Hey, they booted you? So Will Garrison stepped off the ice here and saying he got it, uh, he got the boot from the Zebras here. I don't know why. But he'll take a walk to the locker room. It's going to be a nice win here for Roan, but refs always have some sort of fumble or which is not good on a consistent basis. So Penn State will cross the center ice line here. They work to get the puck to the slot, dip in the shoulder. It'll go short side to the slot. It banks around in the feet. Penn State's been doing that all night long. They Instead of going around the net where everybody expects them to, they go short side again. He did it, backhanded it to the same side. They're fighting for goals right now. They know time's ticking. They managed to keep it in the zone. He'll step in. Pressured away by two props. Zangara puts a shoulder in a man. The puck gets tipped. Up and over, Cutler will collect it as he's closed in on by Penn State. He'll flood to the center ice, put down by a hand, off sides. They called that one. So now you get a face off just outside the zone. Three and a half minutes left. Roan Profs coming up strong against the number five ranked team in the division. Now, doesn't sound like much for the number five team to beat the number six team, but like I said, the weighted schedules for both teams are way different. Roan came in 10-5 and one, Penn State comes in six and one because their schedule is, is rated so high, they, they got ranked so high because of the teams they play and win. Carter Jones makes a hustle play and gets the puck on his stick. Makes, oh, now here's Penn State with a one-on-one -on -one with Dave Cutler. Plays some solid defense getting back. Stays calm and puts his body in front of a man. Gets the puck on his stick. And now he weaves through his own zone, through center ice. And he got a little play for him. He takes a quick shot. Gets gloved away by Carapindi. Dave Cutler with a nice little showing there. He's played well all night. Get, he stayed busy. That was a, a great play. Hustle back and way to get his body in front of the puck a couple times. Four-goal lead for Rowan. So like I said, it, they really needed to, sh to show something in this third period, and they did. They came in with a two-goal lead. They now have a four-goal lead. Even the last goal from Penn State was not any doing of Penn State's. It was really given up by Rowan. And you had, I believe you had five different goal scorers tonight, at least, for Rowan, which you love to see. Plenty of guys contributing. Penn State looking for a long pass, gets tipped up right at the center ice. Here's Paul Keyes going in for it. He plucks it off a man and in around Colella, banks it off the boards and it'll clear out the center ice again. So Penn State sends it all the way back down. AJ tries to slow it down for Roca. Roca knocks it forward to Vance Moran. Vance Moran, head up. He dekes through center ice, weaves back in. He'll go in onside here. 
Vance Moran turns around, and I think he was sending it back to the point, I believe, but nobody was there, or he saw a jersey that wasn't there. And a couple of passes get sent in. One finally goes long and deep all the way to the Penn State backboard there, and then they send it right back in. And now here's number 91. He'll skate in behind AJ. Lose the puck and go to the ice. It'll flutter back to the point. Penn State sends it into the slot. Now you got a quick, oh, Cam Chandler with a nice pass. Here's Chris Conlon trying to make a play. Oh, he shoots and goes wide. He had Penn State defense on his back. He did get a shot off. Didn't quite get, make it on net. Nice little pass there. It was looked like it was going to get broken up, but Cam Chandler manages to squeak one pass. They finally call an icing on Penn State. And that'll go all the way back down in front of uh, in front of Richie Carapindi there for Penn State. So you got Tanner Schroeder, Cam Chandler, with Chris Conlon out there. So what they usually do is they send Chris Conlon in to take a shot. If he can't get the shot off, he goes to the center of the, the slot. But now Penn State marches in. And a nice defensive play by Cohen by staying in between the man and the puck. But the puck still makes it in front of Kalella. So a lot of pucks that are squeaking into the slot, but number 36 between the pipes there has been alert all night long. A couple of the, the, the first two goals scored against A.J. Colella were the same that everybody's been scoring, off of rebounds, so the puck gets hit, hit once, twice, whacked at, then sent across the slot, finally in for a shot. Um, then the third goal was just that awkward play where he should have probably ate that up but didn't. Either way, I mean, it's still 7-3, to three, so not quite worried about it. I mean, it's less than a minute left. They'll take this one easily from Penn State. I shouldn't say easily, but with some oomph, definitely. Um, and Penn State drops one to the number six in the division here, and you love to see it. Friday Night Hockey here from Holly Ice Arena. 30 seconds left here. Plenty of profs scoring goals tonight. Plenty of effort. Plenty of goals at seven. So again, not only do you love to see them beat them, but by four goals, man, that means a lot. Nick Thomas is going to take his time. He'll send it out. 14 seconds. 10. Penn State's just going to have a pass with it in their own zone, I think, and let this wind down. And then we got some pushing and shoving at center ice. Penn State and Rowan. And he's trying to draw something. He doesn't draw anything. Oh, now we get some pushing and shoving around. And they go down to the ice. Penn State instigated that whole thing. Brian Bennett called first team to back up. Penn State walked up in on the Nick Thomas, grabbed him by his jersey, and started pulling him around. I, I guess he wanted a piece of him at the end of the game. They're frustrated they lost. So Penn State takes a ride to South Jersey and goes home with a loss, um, a definitive loss. Seven to three, our Rowan Prost beat the Penn State Nittany Lions. They'll send them on the bus home. Um, and again, it was a back and forth early. I kept saying it, but the puck bounced left and right over everybody's stick. This was a, a game for them to show up and show what they can do against a good team. They do so here. So they'll jump up in rankings. Um, and everybody's happy right now. They're jumping around hugging each other. They, they love to get that one off their back there. Uh, and again, Ramos, Penrod, um, Schroeder scored one. Cam Chandler scored one. Uh, JT Zangara, I believe, scored one. Connor Callahan. Guys put pucks in the net tonight, and they got there all together. So again, I'm Matt Delavecchia. I appreciate you joining us live from Holly Dice Arena here on RTN. Um, we got a few games coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, two away games at Towson, and then another one also at TCNJ after that. And we'll be back home, it looks like, uh, in early January. So uh, keep checking in with RTN for live coverage of your Rowan uh, D2 ice hockey team. I appreciate you joining me, and I, uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.